Hi, Giovanna. I'm Hello. from By Me Design. Hello. Uh, can you introduce you a little bit to us? Um, I'm Giovanna. I'm a designer from Serbia and uh, moved to China to work together with uh, John Lei in uh, Innovo in Wu Liuxin studio. Mm. So here we are in one of the biggest uh, mall in uh, Hangzhou, the yes. Mix City Hall Mall. And we are the Fendi uh, opening, one of the biggest stores yes. in China. Yes, yes, it is. It is the biggest uh, mall in uh, Hangzhou and the uh, newest one. And this is the first opening, like a uh, huge Fendi opening. And they called us for this event to design for them for a workshop. So Giovanna, after the bed, can you tell me more about this piece? Uh, this is uh, the, the typical Chinese table for the flowers or something like. Uh, Actually, it's like a decoration table. You shouldn't uh, use it, but you just mm -hmm. put some some things on it. So we we first we fix the, the the thing because it was falling apart, and then we did something like this. We created a, a bag, like a small storage bag, and you don't need to put everywhere the, the stuff. Just to make them in a small storage. You can do by yourself how you want uh, in the bus because this is the original purpose of this thing. So there is just a, like a two pockets and the one piece of fur you can leave your watch not to scratch it or whatever, it's very cozy. Mm. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, the fuzzy chair is another uh, family of, of the bed and it's uh, because it was uh, completely broken inside, the seat was broken, we, we made uh, something like this like a fuzzy upholstery, leather upholstery to cover the, the broken part and uh, this one is uh, like a, how should I call this one, It's a, we call the lady draw, draw we, gave, yeah. we gave it a name and uh, these drawers are made of leather yeah, inside, inside because uh, also, the Fendi logic is to keep, to hide the most expensive materials inside of the bag, not to show them outside. So we make a little surprise for inside. When you open the drawer, there is a, a very uh, recognizable Chinese craft, paper craft, like a downloom, like they use it for decoration. And we use this, this thing to, to make a small pockets, like uh, for socks or for mm -hmm. ties or, or something like and that. And where did you found this piece? Uh, in uh, Yuhan countryside. <laughs> okay. This is a uh, decoration. Uh, usually this, this one is, uh, should be decoration for a Chinese New Year. And we just made a light from it. It's not on now, but uh, uh, I'm not sure how to, to yeah, turn it no on. Problem. So here is a beautiful piece that you've made as well by hand. Yes. Um, this is a mix of what I've heard, a traditional pattern with mm -hmm. a mix mm -hmm. of Fendi leather. Yes, yes. Where did you get the inspiration uh, uh, to have this yeah. shape? This is inspiration. Uh, uh, Lay's mother, uh, sorry, grandmother made this one for him when he was a little. And this is a pillow. It's a traditional uh, Chinese pillow. And uh, we thought maybe it's very interesting to make this thing very luxury with Fendi leather and the silk because this thing they I think they 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 are they, before they were making just to 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 use the small pieces they they had rest from some to other recycling yeah yes yes so again uh, mm -hmm. we found uh, this piece very interesting to bring from grandma the grandma sent us a small pattern and then we enlarge and uh, make, a, make it big yes make it big yeah. this we made we made a, like something like bench and uh, this piece actually belongs to something else. It is a uh, part of the bed. So this is, uh, I think, the last piece you've made. Uh, time is really important in China. Uh, uh -huh. wh why did you make this clock? Uh, also, this one was a, a, a window part. Mm -hmm. There was a two poles. And we think it is very interesting for the clock. And we put uh, uh, Chinese time in here with Chinese uh, numbers. And here we put Italian numbers with Italian Europe time. And we choose the square here, the sharp edges, because we think in, in, in Italy the, the time is more sharp. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, in Euro, it's more exact. 
in China it's <laughs> quite it's in a circle and it's infinite. Like, yeah, 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 a little bit uh, more, more, more soft, like circling. <laughs> This was the idea for the cloth. Mm. Uh, one, two, three last questions for you, Giovanna. Why, um, what would you advise to young designers willing to enter the Chinese market uh, mm. to do? Mm, I advise them, I recommend to do a lot of exhibitions to show their work anywhere because uh, Chinese design is quite small. China is huge, but uh, the circle of designers is very small so it's it's actually very uh, convenient and it's not so hard to to enter the Chinese design group it's very they will welcome you very much and um, also I, I would advise them to explore Chinese factories because they're always ready to 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 do to uh, use them however you want thank you Maybe the and best. Last, last question. Why would you advise by me design to your <laughs> network and and peers? Um, definitely, because uh, by me design is uh, very friendly with young designers. They like to call them many times, even they don't reply any every time. And uh, very very kind uh, relation with the designers. It's very 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 nice. Thanks, Giovanna. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Thank you.